Everybody's in this room and have gotten to where you've gotten to because you're competitive. And everybody wants to make the team. The reality is that's not going to happen. Process nearly two years in the making culminates this weekend in Orlando, Florida. The process will not only result in a team of lacrosse players, but a group of men who will represent their country. This is the weekend that will decide who will make the U.S. men's national lacrosse team. From 90 guys six months ago, they arrive in Orlando at a mere 50. After the champion challenge on Sunday, that number will be cut in half. The team is a mix of veterans and young guns, but regardless of age, they're all a part of an elite club. Come July, the team composed this weekend will travel to Denver to defend the gold medal run from four years prior. That'll do it. The United States comes to Manchester, England and will return back home the 2010 world champs. Leading the ship this year are some of the most decorated coaches in college lacrosse. Amongst them are Coach Petromala of Hopkins and Coach Tambroni of Penn State. And at the helm, head coach Richie Mead. Okay, guys, let me go over uh, let me go over what's gonna happen here over the next several months. Everybody knows what they're doing. I mean, for us, it's been over a year and a half, uh, two years actually since since I started doing this, and uh, it's it's coming down to the end, right? Uh, you guys, as far as I'm concerned, are the U.S. national team, but we got we're gonna we're gonna cut down some more people and get to the point here. Anybody in this room, there's a case for, but I'm gonna have to make some very difficult decisions along with the staff. Okay, this weekend, this weekend is about Sunday. It's about Sunday, okay? It's, it's competitive, we're all, everybody's competitive. Everybody's in this room and have gotten to where you've gotten to because you're competitive. And everybody wants to make the team. The reality is that's not gonna happen, okay? But appreciation of effort, appreciation of talent, appreciation of character, camaraderie, teamwork, I'll never forget any of that. And I want everybody to understand that the men that eventually make this team owe it to the men that have been here to represent our country and to be victorious, okay? We're not going there to be second place. team that has won nine gold medals, the tempo at practice is high. The level of competition, intense. I got it! Grab one over there, Rapes! No one knows this better than veteran midfielder Matt Strebel. Trying out this weekend in hopes of making the team for the fourth time, doing so would make him only the third to accomplish this feat. This process, I don't know if it's because it's my fourth time and I'm just old, but uh, it's felt really grueling. Um, you know, I thought in 2010 that process was it's the first time we did the, the sort of the training team and we did the fall weekends and it's a really mentally and physically taxing thing to go through from from a standpoint of being a player and you know I think going into it I thought hey I've been through this before I'm gonna know what to expect but it never gets easy that's that's one of the great things and one of the awful things about trying out for Team USA it's just there are you know, 50 guys, 51 guys, 90 guys, wherever you start, the whole process is really grueling. And I think I didn't expect that it would be harder than it was in 2010, but every year you know, the competition gets stiffer. There are more guys that are, that are into being a part of it. And I think that just the, the process that the coaches have put us through has been really exacting. And to their credit, I mean, that's what you want out of this process. You want it to be fair. You want it to be uh, as intense as it possibly can be. And that, I think, is the biggest difference. Yet another veteran returning to tryouts this year is Kyle Harrison. The tryout for a guy like Kyle is nothing to get worked up over. 
I think that's how you start freaking yourself out. <laughs> if you start thinking, you know, in the back of your head, like this is the national team, if I mess up, like, I, I'm not gonna make it, or if I don't do this, I'm not gonna make it. I think, uh, you know, you're here for a reason. We're all here for a reason. Uh, we were fortunate enough to make this 50-man training team because uh, the coaches saw something in each of us that they think potentially they could, they could work with and fit into their scheme. And whatever happens after that happens, you know, I think it's all about effort. You go out there, you leave everything you got on the field, uh, and then at the end of the day, the coaches are going to make their decision, but if you go in with the mindset thinking every pass, every shot, every defensive play is going to make or break you as far as this team goes, then you're going to be in a tough spot. The only thing keeping the veterans from solidifying their trip to Denver is an abundance of young talent. From guys still in college to others fresh out, they're all gunning for a chance to represent their country. But for everyone, Coach Richie Mead's message is clear. One step at a time. We got to keep working on the stuff that we can work on here. You guys understand? But we got to get a little bit, we got to get better. We have to get better. All right, guys, good right. being What's back. What's up, boys? And blue. Let's call USA on three, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. USA on three. One, two, three. USA. You know, they got to all travel, come in, get ready. I thought we had great enthusiasm and excitement. I think the guys are used to being with each other. I think they look forward to this. And uh, it was good to get out there and run around. I think tomorrow will be a little bit more specific in some things. So it was a good first night. Next time on Road to the Rockies. I was at the Naval Academy for a while, you guys know that. Here's what I learned. You don't almost land on an aircraft carrier. Okay, you either land on an aircraft carrier or you swim or you crash, all right? So we're gonna go up and down here a little bit. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a taste of that.